Hello. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how the moon phases are affecting your women's cycles. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Patricia and I help you with ascension and I help you with the integration of your brand new connections. There's a lot happening for women. So let's just get right into it right now. First of all, there's a reason it's been called the menstrual cycle. This is not the word men. It is actually from an old Latin word meaning month. People get this monthly. Now it's also tied in with the moon. And a lot of people have been wondering, can the moon affect me? Not only can the moon and its energies affect you, it can actually start getting aligned where it's very predictable and it's very much in alignment with the direction that this is going. Now, what is the direction this is going? To get women healthier, to have it be more predictable, less random, to also help with ancestral issues, things that run in families, things that run through the maternal line, feminine genetics of a person's family. And there are lifestyle factors. So if we just take some of those components and the fact that your body is comprised of about 70% water, yeah, it's going to have a pull on you. I remember doing a class where people were asking me, why does the moon have an effect? And the answer is it has to do with the water in your body, not how hydrated you are, but the fact that your body, every cell in your body has some water in it and it pulls just like it pulls the tides it's magnetic so just like the ocean has a high tide a low tide a king tide you have tides fishermen abide by these so do other nautical professions they have to abide by the tides because it has to do with how the water is rising, how the surf is, and how it goes down. Now, it can also have an erratic effect on people's emotions and behaviors. If there's a part of you that's being pulled, how is it affecting you? Is it making you more anxious? Is it making you more tired? Is it pulling on parts of you that have to do with your mind and the health of your head, your headaches, and so forth? Now, there is something to know that I like to call Give back to the earth what belongs to the earth. What does that even mean? Well, to me, what it means and what I'm telling people is you're lifting off. It is time to relegate just lifetimes of your ancestors simply having to create children because the life expectancy was low, the survival rates were low, the health care wasn't as good as it is now. Always room for improvement, but let's be straight up in some places in some timelines there was no health care it was non-existent or it was administered by you know herbalists midwives etc now there are differences for women of childbearing years and differences for women who are mothers and differences for women who are older almost everyone when you are on the journey you will experience some form of perimenopause. This is what I've been seeing for 15 years, not to mention my own journey. My own journey with it, there was always a search for what is happening. It wasn't until years later that I actually realized what is happening. I have put this into a course and it's a part of my four zone healing modality. Within that, we go through the sections of the body that it greatly affects. So while we think of the menstrual cycle as simply being in the area of the hips, your lower back, maybe a few other things happen. For some women, it is way at the extreme. They're getting migraines. They're getting very, very stuck energy where it feels like they will never stop. It's brutal. It is painful. And other women are on the lighter side. The things that happen with people's cycles leads to other questions for the individual, such as how fertile am I? Does this affect my fertility? Or will I have what grandma had? Will I have the things in my family? Does it mean that I'm showing a predisposition for something? I'm here to tell you that I am an integrator that helps you integrate your energy body that not only lifts you, but makes it easier to maintain. As you're lifting, you are giving to the earth what belongs to the earth. A reason to have this is because as you come into alignment with each month, 
and you get on a more regular schedule, you're going to get irregular again. Snap out of it! And there's a reason for it, and the reason has a lot to do with ease of comfort. Now, you may not think of it that way, because in some ways, even that is a business, it is like anything else where you need to buy supplies. What if I were to tell you this? The amount of lost time and paying for supplies, I did the calculations. The calculations added up to this can be the equivalent of about $100,000 for a woman that she loses in a 40 to 45 year span. So from the time she hits puberty and needs to buy stuff, losing time at work, losing time to migraine headaches, any kind of downtime, other things, losing the fabrics of what you're wearing and needing to replace it, being skipped over because you might get pregnant, you know, all these kind of things, lost wages. And I calculated this at pretty much a standard going rate, which is just slightly above minimum wage at this time. What if a person were to take that and just invest it at 1%? Right now, interest rates have changed. I'm talking about menstrual cycles. Let's put it into dollar and cents, cents, common sense. What if you were able to transform yourself where this is much more regular for you? You don't get those headaches. You're not losing time. The next direction of it is for people that are still of childbearing age, you get it every other month. And for other people, they're getting it seasonally. And for other people, if you have ceased your cycles, you begin to feel like a teenager again. How is that for anti-aging? How would you feel? How does your skin look? How would, what is the quality and condition of your hair, skin, and nails? So you see, there are true benefits to working with my modality. My modality is the living bridge between the physical side of yourself, your energy body, your energy connections, the medical side of yourself, and what do you need medically? How do you check things? I don't encourage people to get angry with your medical people because they will not know what I know. And what I know is this, we are undergoing changes. This is human evolution at work. I'm here to help you with it. I have links below to join my class. I'm going to have a group class. We're going to break this down for you. What to do? What if you get in a funky mood? What if you feel depressed, mild depression? I know exactly what that is and I know how to get you out of it. I know what herbs to recommend. I know how you need to change your lifestyle. One of the differences between my modality and other modalities out there is they make no accounting for your energy body and how it will sustain you, how it bridges you, how it fills in those missing gaps. Another difference is a lot of people look at this like, I'm gonna have to do this forever. No, you simply need to get it up and running and start making some changes which are doable to maintain yourself. Does it mean that you always have to eat a certain way? No, but you might have to eat a certain way for three days during the initiation of your cycle to make yourself feel better and kind of skim over it. How would you like to skim over a lot of the things that other people experience? Tell your friends, tell your nieces, tell your teenage girls, tell yourself, tell your mothers. Tell your aunties. The point being that we are finally at a time where the suffering can begin to diminish. The medications necessary that sometimes fix one thing and, and you know, they don't help another. I know uh, someone very dear to me who had to take a medicine for a very bad headache and unfortunately, it really messed with their stomach and their digestive system so much, it, it almost wasn't worth it. And I help you to do this naturally. It is natural, it's non-invasive. It is using the natural healing of your own soul, really. Your own energy, the part of you that is sustainable because it sustains you. Let's talk about real sustainability. Sustainability has to sustain you. I know you're not crazy. I'm here to help you. Please join and please check it out. Links are below. Coming up very soon.